So let's say that I weren't happy with the naming of this Waypoints 2. I can obviously go into the script and just rename this back to Waypoints, okay, which should be fine. Okay, it'll update and then obviously it will change its name, but notice that it gets rid of any data that's in there. So just be aware of that. Uh, it's also now saying array size, but it is a list. Okay, so list is empty. Uh, if for example, you've changed it from one type to another, probably the best thing to do there is, let's say I'll copy this, so control X, and I'll actually delete it out of the script, save the script so that it completely disappears, and it kind of flushes the memory. And then when we put it back into the script again, so as a list, um, it will then basically create it fresh. So it won't be remembering any kind of data from previous. Okay. Um, but obviously you would need to kind of put your items back in there if you like. Okay. Uh, now at the moment, um, it's kind of a bit of a mess. All right, so we've got waypoints, move speed, character type, message. What are all these about? Okay, so particularly if you're working with a team, you want to make it as easy to read as possible so that everything makes sense. So let's say that this first section of waypoints and move speed are all about movement. Well, what we can do, we can actually leave a header in here. Okay, so let's just create a space there and if I type header, I can actually give this a message heading. So let's say this is movement. And then if I copy this, the next part is character type. So let's say we'll give this one the header of choose character. And then we also get a message as well. So let's call this uh, NPC message. Now, if I save this, I've got my headers. Now notice, so we've got movement, choose character and NPC message. Things are starting to look a little bit more organized so that now it's kind of making a little bit more sense as to what each of these elements are. 